So we're gonna do the unboxing. We're opening the Halo View BT7. This is a seven inch uh, wireless, wirelessly transmitted backup camera. It also works with three additional cameras. That's one of the features here. So let's see, uh, here's your water resistant rating IP69K. That's for four channels. That shows you that it has nighttime vision and you can also put in a memory card and have a DVR. So really cool. Um, full color at night. That's a nice, nice feature. The other thing too that this one has over the Furion is it is a 1080p. So you can see that right there on the box, 1080p, which is great. Plug this in and I tested it out um, before I did the unboxing. Here we go, nice packaging, nice firm, solid styrofoam. We've got two user, user manuals, one for the LCD monitor and the other one for the actual backup camera. More styrofoam. Um, this is really well packaged. I must say like everything's cut to fit and this is firm, firm styrofoam. So it's very, very secure in the box. You got your seven inch LCD monitor. Uh, you got all of your button uh, items over here. This isn't a touch screen, but you'll see everything on there. It works really well. Um, antenna port back here. This is for powering the device itself. I'll show you how that plugs in here in just a minute. Uh, you've got the camera right here, so you can see the uh, lights here. There are LED lights on the side here that light it up at night. Um, it works very quickly. There's a little sensor that if you put your finger over, it'll light it up. So that told, that told me that it worked really well. Power cable here, there's a little piece of green sticking out the back here. Don't worry about that. That's just your ground wire. Um, no, no reason to take it out of the sleeve there. It's got some uh, shrink wrap on it. Um, that plugs into a power cable, which I will show you here momentarily. Mounting dash uh, components here, and another mounting plate. Um, here's a rubber pad for the actual camera here, so that'll go on to help uh, weather seal everything. It just goes on the back there. Okay. Three antennas, one goes into the camera, there's a port right here, and then there's two on top of the L LCD right there. This is your testing cable. This is to pair it. This is actually what I plugged it into to test it beforehand. So I'm gonna leave that in the box. This is a uh, audio cable. It's got a three and a half millimeter jack right here. Um, not 100% sure what it's for. It may actually be now that I'm looking at it. Oh, it's an outdoor component. So how you can tell indoor from outdoor components is you'll have a rubber seal around the port there. So if it doesn't have a rubber seal, it's an indoor or inside your truck component. It has a rubber seal, it's for the outside. So that goes onto the camera somehow. I'll look at the user manual and figure that out. Here's your actual uh, wiring um, piece. So this is pretty simple. And something that's really cool is it actually comes with wire connectors. So you can sit, uh, slip everything in, pinch that closed, and you've got a main connection. So pretty handy that they give you the items to actually uh, put this all together. Um, this is actually the, the cable that plugs into the head unit to power it. And this is probably my only complaint about how they put this together is I don't understand why you have to have a secondary plug in a plug that's already there. Like they should have just made this compatible that way. I don't know why this wasn't already on here. And then this piece was able to mount into the into this area anyway small complaint i guess um it's just an extra component i don't think is needed but maybe there's a reason why last couple things uh just some mounting brackets for the monitor right there and that's it that's everything in the box um, like i said the pairing cable we'll leave that in there all this other stuff um, i'm probably going to use uh, or may use depending on what i see whenever we get everything mounted up there